What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlayBugGamer.com. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on UTEP and ended up getting beat yet again. 27 to 17. Turnovers was the big issue, basically. We had two bad ones, and we couldn't overcome that. Plus, UTEP, UTEP is just better than us. So, we're 3-3. Three and three. We got to move on. We got to figure out how to win ball games again, because right now we're just struggling. Hopefully, some changes that I'm going to make to the offense and some things. We'll check that out a little bit later. will help. Today, we're taking on UCF. They're playing better than us. They're 4-2. and two. We got more talent than they do. Looks like their stats says they don't do much of anything well, but they're still winning ball games somehow. Now, I think they run a pro-style offense and like a 4-3 defense. Now, this I ran a dynasty with UCF years ago. It was a really fun one, so some of these players will probably pop back up into my mind. But hopefully, we can take care of business today. We are down to two prospects. We got a commitment in the last video from Peter Hollis, which is good. We're able to dump his points into these last two players. Larry Holden, the strong safety. He is visiting for the Marshall game. We're at the top of his list, which is good, but we just don't know what he's really into. And the other guy, Ryan Jones, he visited last game, but he's just a soft verbal. He probably would have committed if we would have won, but we didn't. So hopefully the 50 points we're dumping on the him will be enough to get him to commit today if we win. Now, we could get commitments from these guys if we lose. It's just kind of a tall order, but hey, we've done that with Hollis. So make sure you stay to the end of the video to see if we get a commitment from Ryan Jones. I'm not even going to talk about division standings. That's so far away from us because we're just losing too much. But what we can do is look at the team info screen. Not a whole lot has changed. Just the same six guys, Ricard, Jackson, Davis, Boger, Morrison, Mason. Everybody's just kind of doing the same thing there. Now, what we can do is look at UCF's team info screen. They don't have any injuries. Looks like they got a quarterback that's putting up quite a few interceptions. Hopefully, he'll do that more today. Looks like they got a running back putting up some decent yardage. Not a whole lot at the wide receiver front. And here's the interesting thing. Look at their defensive leaders. It's the same guy leading in tackles, sacks, and in interceptions, which is pretty impressive. And in the last game, they beat Southern Miss 33-30. to One of the changes that I made was to the playbook. I swapped out one formation with another. I took out ace empty, and we replaced it with a shotgun normal. Gun normal gives me an extra screen pass. It gives me an RPO. It gives me a halfback dive. It gives me speed option. It fits the offense a little bit better than Ace Empty. I wasn't using Ace Empty all that much the previous games, mainly because I was still trying to tinker with a couple screen plays in it. And I think we're going to get better use out of Gun Normal. Plus, it gives me another third and long play, uh, especially like on the left hash. I think it's going to fit quite nicely. Otherwise, the offense is still going to stay intact, but we may change up a couple of concepts. Looks like we have somebody in trouble. This is our first one of the dynasty. And, of course, it's our best player. Why not? Nothing else has gone right in this dynasty so far. Let's see what he got into. He said, we value academics a great deal around here. For whatever reason, Ricard is not on the same page as the rest of us. Give him some time away from football to reevaluate this. Now, if I suspend him for just one game, it gets the bar down to here. I would love to suspend him for more. The problem is we're not even winning games with him, let alone without him. And I feel like we need him. Now, I, he's not going to play today. The full game suspension things works pretty well. It just brings down that bar quite a bit. But the bar is not an issue for us at the moment. It's at less than half, so this isn't a worry. So we don't have to punish him as much. The one thing I would love to do is if he was the backup quarterback, I could suspend him for like the entire season because we got so many points to play with at the moment. So I'm kind of hoping another player or two gets in trouble later on. Actually, sooner the better, so we could dump more points. But... Well, one thing we can do is look at our schedule, and let's see what's coming up. We got Marshall next. This is an important game because we got another player coming in, another prospect. We need to convince him uh, to come to Tulane. I don't want to suspend Ricard for two games. I'd love to suspend it for three because LSU is after that, and we're not going to beat LSU. We're just not good enough. We're playing so badly at the moment, we can't possibly beat them. I'd love to suspend him for the next three games and really get that bar down, but he's too important. He's our best player. He's our only impact guy on offense and the only one that does anything consistently well. So we'll suspend him for today and get him ready for the Marshall game. So let's go back to here, and we're going to suspend him for one game. Before we head back into the video, I just wanted to point out a few things that are on my site. First of all, rosters. My 128 megabyte PlayStation 2 memory card with over 20 
name roster files for every NCAA football game. This is the perfect way for you to get a ton of roster files if you still play on the PlayStation 2. I also have my brand new apparel shop. This has been a request from several people for a while with some good ideas. And now I have my logo and my name on a bunch of different cool stuff from shirts to hoodies, long sleeves and tanks and whatnot. I got two designs so far. I got my main logo and I got Playbook Gamer written out in the Letterman font. And last but not least, you head over to my vault. This is my entire file collection that you have complete access to there are thousands upon thousands of files that you can download print and copy do whatever you want to with them i got a bunch of things in there all of my books i got dynasty files technically i just got one for now i got spreadsheets for a lot of game info then team playbooks play images my entire playbook collection dynasty trackers i even have a franchise tracker and a call sheet so make sure you check all this out a lot of good content this is a non-televised game, so we're going to head straight to the coin toss. It looks like we may have some bad weather as well. They won the toss, and they will receive it. Now, there's no harsh wind. I can't tell if it's a sunny day or not. I think we actually have good weather. I think it's going to be sunny. Uh, let's go ahead and select this. Now, yes, let's talk about a couple things. First of all, we need to talk about a couple changes that I'm going to do on my end. First of all, let's go to formation subs. Our best wide receiver in Davis needs to be on the field a lot more than where we have him. He's currently our slot receiver which means he's our number three guy. Now, I can do this via sub packages, but it's actually easier for me if I do it via formation sub. So with here, I'm going to put him over at the Z position right there. Uh, so any two white sets we have, we're going to do the same thing. He's in that formation. We're going to put him right here at I-Twins, and we're also going to put him on the edge here, and I'm going to put Terra Nova there. The rest of it, I think we're going to be okay. The last thing I want to look at here is I want to make sure Jackson, even though he's fumbling the ball, I think what, somebody made a good comment. I think juking in this game, high risk, high reward. You juke, you get around somebody, you're off to the races. But I think your halfback or your runner is vulnerable to fumbles. So I'm not going to juke as much because Lord knows we don't need any more turnovers, especially fumbles. But I'm still going to give Jackson equal opportunity as with Forte. Now, if he just keeps fumbling it, then I may have no choice but to let Forte handle the rest of it. But I do want to make sure my back or my halfbacks are where they need to be. So let me go back here if I can get to it. So I want him there, Jackson. Uh, here, I'm going to put Forte. We could put Forte there, Jackson, Jackson. We could put Forte and Jackson. So everybody pretty much gets equal reps for the most part, I think. I think I'm okay with all of that there. Now let's talk about our depth chart. Let's start off looking at theirs and see what we're dealing with. Steven Moffitt, quarterback. He's a balanced quarterback, 72 speed. Oh, yeah, before we get into this, let's talk about our situation now. Two things we're going to do offensively a little bit different. One, I'm going to bring in the option game a little bit quicker than I expected. The problem is Ricard is hurt. He's only got 72 speed. That's enough to do a little option, but Cannon, our backup, 70 speed. We still may sprinkle it in a little bit, but we're thinking speed option, halfback option, and some QB choice. QB choice, maybe not so much, because QB choice, you really need some speed at quarterback. Not as much as the other two concepts. Now, with Cannon, we need to talk about him here before we move on. He just doesn't have as good as arm as Ricard, but hopefully he can play steady enough and in uh, mistake-free football. The last thing we're going to do is, and we're going to talk about it once we get into the game, is I'm switching out curl flat with Ohio concept. Ohio concept, you just have a go route and then you got an out route beside it. I think that's going to be a better way to stretch the field. I don't think we're going downfield a whole lot. And it's a little bit safer hitting that out route compared to hitting that curl, which Ricard can't even hit the curl. And if you're, if you're going to throw interceptions with that curl, you need to quit using that concept, at least with that quarterback. So that's the other big change. Having said all that, let's go back to UCF and look at their offense. Again, quarterback... He's got 72 speed. We're going to go after him some today. Halfback, thankfully they don't have an impact guy here. They got an 80 and an 80 and a 74. This guy's got some speed to him. Fullback, 76 overall, 72 speed. He's just kind of there. Wide receiver, impact guy. If anybody remembers him from my dynasty, I won the Heisman with him. I pretty much built an entire offense around him his senior year. He's a junior, so that second season, if you want to go back and see how you run an entire offense around a wide receiver, that's it's a really good example. Uh, but he's an impact guy. we got to watch out for him. they got another guy just as good as he is, Brandon Marshall. I remember him. 
Uh, so their receiving core is just as good as ours, if not better. They got a really good tight end. This guy, I won the tight end award that first year. I vividly remember that. I kind of built the offense around him some as well. He's really talented, 89 overall, 80 speed, and he can catch the ball. Offensive line, 78, 76, 78, 70, and 72. So at least the right side of the line is not as good as the left. Maybe we can attack that pretty well today. Again, I think they run a 4-3. So we got 72 and 74 on the ends, 82 and 76 up front in the middle. So their front four is just okay. Linebacker, 68, 74. And this is the kid that's leading in everything, and he's a true freshman, which is impressive, and 74. So their front seven is just average. Corner, a really good corner, just 82 overall, but he is an impact guy. Kind of need to stay away from him as best you can. We'll see. Uh, but it's a bit of a drop-off after him. 74 free safety with only 80 speed and 74 uh, overall for the strong safety with 82 speed. They got an average kicker, not bad, 84 overall, and an, a true average punter. All right, let's get this show on the road. Can we get a win without our best player? We'll find out. Can we play uh, mistake-free football? We're about to find out. Now, we're going to kick it away from their impact guy. Those are good-looking uniforms for UCF. Somebody make a tackle. Yeah, those look pretty sharp. We are going to do a zone blitz. We're going to do a lot of zone. I think they're going to throw the ball quite a bit since they got two impact guys that are receivers, more or less. Now, please don't run up the middle to the left. Please go play action. Going to drop back. Get him, get him. Good sack. For whatever reason, the quarterback kept going to the left, so Harrison was able to get to him. So that's a good start. Second and 14. I'm going to go back to quarters. We're going to play a ton of quarters today. Try to keep everything in front of us. Maybe bait the quarterback into a bad interception. Looks like they're going ace normal. Drop back. Good job, Al. Get a hand up in it. Swat the ball down. So it is third and 14. Man, it would be great if we could get a stop here. Let's go cloud. I'm going to go after him myself. Let's see if I can attack this weak right tackle. You assume they're going to throw here? Good pickup on the blitz, and this ain't good. Touchdown. Just like that, I should have let it, the CPU handle it. That's my fault. So we're off to a bad start as usual. I, I feel like that was my... I should have just let the CPU handle it. He was so wide open, I feel like I had to at least do something. But apparently, I didn't do anything. So we got to come from behind like usual. To see if we can handle it. All right, let's get on offense. I think our defense will be fine today. I'm not worried about that play, but that just shows you my cover three cloud coverage isn't perfect. It gets beat every so often. Safety didn't do well on that one. Uh, let's go ahead and take this one out. Face mask. Thank you. That may be a 15-yarder. And it is. First and 10. No, it's just a five-yarder. So we're on the right hash. I'm thinking the only sub package I got to do is... I want to do is that one. I am. Let's just run the ball. Uh, somebody made a good comment that I probably need to run the ball more. I, I kind of agree with you. As long as we don't turn the ball over. <laughs> That's the key. If we don't turn the ball over, I think we'll be fine. Nowhere to go there. Barely pick up three yards. Now, I can run. Again, we can implement a little option. Like, we can do it from here. I don't know if he can handle it. I almost want to do a toss because, again, our quarterback here, Cannon, only has 70 speed. We'll do something like that. Just get to the outside. Good job of Forte. Big first down. I'm going to stay in this formation. We're going to play action. Now, i got to be careful. We're going to do that PA screen. They're going man. I am not going to go over the top to Terra Nova. I don't think that's going to work. We'll go over here to Davis. Get a first down. I think that's a safer option. Stay away from that impact corner. Good throw there. We can try another screen. It's on my mind if I could find it. This is one of the new formations. Let's go halfback screen. Go in zone. We can pass this over to Jackson. I'm not worried about running clock today. We're not completely outmanned in this one. Just... It is what it is. 
Uh, second and ten. Let's go P. Reed. Zone dime. I would love to run up the middle. I don't think it's going to work all that well. Uh, this, this play is not really meant to do that. Look where I, their good players are on the left side. Good throw to Davis. Get a first down. Good throw by Cannon. Now what we can do from this, uh, like from this, uh, let's do something like from here. We can try halfback dive with Jackson see where this takes us. They're going 4-3, but they're going zone. I could probably cut up in the middle somewhere. They're spreading out. Just no protection. No blocking whatsoever. Middle of the field. Uh, we could try speed option. But going gun dime, that could be helpful. We'll go to the right. Good blocking there. I, I, I'm kind of glad I didn't pitch it. So it is third and three. Um, I honestly think we probably, I may just run the ball. I was about to call a play where we may have to run it to or throw it to the right left side to that corner, but I think this is the better call. Or just, just awful. Just no blocking again. Just no blocking. You go back and look at it. I had nowhere to go. I could have cut up field maybe right there. Right there I probably could have. I didn't see him get blocked right there. So, again, that's just just my fault. We're just playing miserable football this year. Let's kick a field goal. Hopefully we can make it. We still can't get in the end zone, which is it's so depressing for me that our offense just can't operate well. At least we got on the scoreboard. We need touchdowns, not field goals, though. Let's get back on defense. Try not to goof up on the back end. I want to, thankfully the option game is going to give a little uh, diversity to our run game, which I'm happy about. I got tired of running slam and dive all the time. And uh, there he goes. There he goes. It's just like that. I, I don't know, understand it. Hey, I'll just don't get upset. Just don't do it. And it's not worth it. But I'm just, um, it's, it's just tough right now. Let's get to the point where you don't look forward to even playing this game when your team just can't do anything right. But we got to get over. We got to keep playing. Let's get back on offense. Try to get a touchdown this time. I got to remind, my, remind myself. I guess these sliders are really taking effect. Everything getting maxed out and whatnot. Just so we're on the right hash. I'm a little worried if I call. Um, Let's call. Let's go double screens. I'm gonna flip it. They're going zones. So we're gonna go to our halfback. We're gonna go to Forte. Good. I don't know what you want me to do. It's just like we just can't do anything correct, and I I just don't have an answer. Um. Let's run the ball. Man nickel. We'll go to the right of the piers. Just nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's go third and long. They're going zone. Let's see if we can hit Davis over the middle. And they're calling that. Terrible throw. He caught it. I, I think it bounced off the safety. That, I think he threw it way too far ahead of him, but we, that's fine. We'll, it's a first down, we'll take it. We're in the middle of the field. Uh, let me think. Let's go. Let's go halfback dive from the gun. They're going man dime. The shift is okay. I'm going to bring that corner over here, get him out of the way. Man, just to the outside, apparently. Just do a stiff arm. Good play there. Uh, we can stay in this formation. We can do an RPO. For going man, 4-3. That shift isn't going to help us run the ball, so we're going to definitely keep this. Cover two. We'll go to Davis, get a first. Uh, 
I'm, I'm not going to get upset. I'm just tired. Let's go zone blitz. Maybe we can get a playoff here. Let's see if we can do something like this. Good tackle by somebody. I think it's the defensive end. Oh, we're going to do another zone blitz this time with the nickel. They're going gun eight. This ain't, yeah, probably not going to get a blitz off this one. Yeah, we was able to. Thankfully, they went play action. Let's go cloud. The last time we called this, they beat it easily. But we'll stick with it. Sack. Good job. So we overcame the turnover. The problem is our offense needs to function. We need to score some touchdowns. We can't keep turning the ball over. We can't keep kicking field goals. Let's see if we can do that on this drive. Somebody get a block on that dude. It's not going to happen. We're on the right hash. Let's uh, we're gonna go play action. I'm going to go PA tight end choice. Please go zone. And they're not. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Cover two. And I intercepted. I, was just, I got hit when I threw it. It's a miracle. It wasn't picked off. Okay. Let's go speed option. 4-3 zone. Why are they going 4-3? They just... Don't get upset. Let's see what happens here. Get a block on somebody. Decent gain, but just kind of not what we're needing at the moment. Seven seconds. That's the end of the quarter, and it was just an utter disaster. But we're used to it. Hopefully we can play better going forward. Third and five. I'm actually going to go block cross. They're going man. We're going to go to Davis. Hopefully he doesn't fumble it this time. And that's perfect defense. Dang it. Dang it. My offensive line got beat badly. What's my halfback doing there? It just, it doesn't matter. We're just terrible. It is what it is. I'm going to go for it, though. I'm honestly, I'm just going to do it. Why not? This game's over with. You know, it just, maybe we can get a first down here. I feel like I got to. Our offense has been so bad. First down. Ah. Gee whiz. First and ten. Let's run halfback dive with Jackson. Zone nickel. Um, go this way. Face mask. Oh, they didn't call it. Great run by Jackson, though. Up the gut. Let's go with a screen. Uh, I have an idea. Let's go with this one. The one that didn't work last time. Let's go with this one. If we're going zone again. Maybe we can get a catch. Do something like this. I'm, a, I, I don't, I'm about to lose it. <laughs> I mean, I hope people understand why I'm frustrated all the time when my players don't want to do anything right. Um, let's run the ball. Let's go direct. I have no choice but the juke there. Uh, gets us down to what? Third and something. Third and two. Uh, we can try. I don't know if this is a good idea. Let's go P.E. Reed. They're going zone and look where their guy. He's on the... God, they, they know exactly what I'm calling. <laughs> He's blitzing. An amazing catch. That was a good defensive play call. Very fortunate Davis made the catch on that one. All right, let's go speed option again. I'd love to do QB choice, but we, you need a much faster quarterback for that. We'll do something like this. Just nowhere. Again, we just don't have a quarterback that can handle it. Taking an eight. 
Uh, I want to run the Ohio concept. Zig Ants is a good one. We're going zone dime. Do something like this. Just an awful throw. Third and eight. They're going man. This is what worries me. And they're going they're going cover one. This is perfect defense, honestly. Yeah. We're gonna get the first down. What hold I, I do you understand why I'm upset all the time? Do you get it? Because of all this nonsense. Um Deep po I it doesn't matter. Uh, let's call a timeout. I don't like that play call. Third and 18. We may just call that same play again. Just to get close to where we can kick a field goal. We're going cover two. He, I, he, how many drops have we had today? Do I have to adjust the slider, the stupid slider? I don't want to do that. I don't want to be chasing perfect sliders all the time. I'll lose joy in this game, and I want to play something different altogether. Can we make this field goal? I don't know if we can. We may have made it. Get it in there. More than enough of a leg. So we're down eight somehow. I don't know. It feels like we're down 18. Our poor offense just can't get out of its own way and it's depressing and this is going to their impact guy good job good kick take a knee let's get on defense I'm gonna try another zone blitz we've had one sack which has helped off of it do something like this oh, I get him I thought I had him right there we're gonna get seven yards I'm going to take a chance on a nickel. I normally don't want to do this against a bigger set, but I think they're going to throw it. So I'm going to try a zone blitz here. I hope I'm correct. Going up the gut, and he still went around it. And he'd still get, yeah. Perfect play call against that defense. Let's go man just to switch it up. I'm going to do something like this. And we still can't tackle for whatever reason. I don't know why. I'm going to do that same zone blitz again. I'm going to try to get some extra speed. Go after this guy. We're calling that at least. Maybe I can get to him here. Play action. Good. We guessed correctly. So it's third and long. Let's go Cloud. If we can get a stop here, get lucky and get score a touchdown on the next drive, that would be great. Get him. Oh, so close. Good hit by the safety. Okay. They're, we got a little bit of life in us. Defensively, our, our defense is keeping us in it. I'm going to take a chance on all that block. They may not come in to protect. If they don't, we may have a chance to get that block. Let's see what they do. They're coming in. That's the chance you take around this area. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. That's a kick and a half. We're going to let that one go, apparently. Let's go back and run the ball. We'll just stay in this formation. Uh, I want to keep my tight ends on the right side. Because my preference is to run to the right. Let's see if we can get a block or two here. Just get a first down. Don't juke. It's not worth it. At least especially in that area. Good run there. Uh, I'm going to stay in this formation. We're going to run... Uh, I'm not ready to run off tackle. Let's do the halfback read. It's a little bit different than the slam. Zone nickel. Kind of be weary or noticeable of the uh, clock. We're going to bring this guy over. Just because of that shift. 
Good. Good, everybody. Just don't fumble. Don't, 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 don't. Huh? So we're running the ball well. So it's a minute 53. So here's what we're going to do. I got to be weary of this. Leary, I should say. Not weary. But let's go P.E. Reed. And the going man again. Last time we called this, it worked well until our wide receiver turned the ball over. And he can't hear that. Oh, you got to be kidding. He can't hear that, really? Uh, everything messed up when he couldn't hear that play call. Everything went down after that. So let's try Ohio concept. This is the Ohio concept, the go in the out route. This is replacing curl flat. Only thing that worries me here, look who we're going after. But again, it, it's just on my mind, so let's just see what happens with it. Still didn't get out of bounds. We'll call a timeout, third and forever. We're on the 38. This is actually two down ter territory. Two down territory for me. I'm gonna do half back direct. They're going man, they're blitzing everybody, and I don't want don't shift to the right. And if they're doing that. Let's see what happens here. Good block. We're gonna get some yards. Get out of bounds. Keep the drive alive. Uh, let's go back and let's go do another Ohio concept. You're going man. I want to go to Davis on this one. Like, nobody's even on him. Oh, there he goes. Ah, right, let's go back to the original play. He can hear that one, thankfully. Getting out of bounds. Great play right there. That corner, the, the safety couldn't make a play on it. So, we're on the 10. Let's run the ball. We got plenty of time. We got a timeout left. We should be okay. Man, nickel. Looks like they're double teaming Terra Nova. Oh, why did I, I, I? Why did I spin? That was a touchdown. I accidentally hit that button while I was running. Oh, that's terrible, Al. That's okay. Let's keep that clock running. We're gonna run it down as best we can. We're going to run to the right. We'll just try to get our first down or our touchdown with Jackson. And then we'll go for two. I think it's probably best to go ahead and do that. I don't know what we'll call. I'll probably call slam again. Perfect defense. Or somebody got pushed back big time. Just nobody picked up the linebacker. By right guard, I don't know what he's doing there, but he's not doing anything. Third and five on the five. Uh, I think I still may run slam. I think we actually got a better chance, honestly. They're going man nickel. Yeah, we'll just... I'm going to go right. I could bring this guy over. Will it help? I think the safeties may come down because of it. Looks like they didn't. Let's go ahead and snap it. Woo! Just get in. Curl in. Okay, we're down two, and guess what? I'm going to call a dive this time. It's quicker. They're going zone dive. Fine by me. But they're shifting. Since they're shifting, I'm going to bring this guy over. I could do the wide receiver as well, but we'll do this. Make sure he gets down and set. Oh, just get over. Oh. So we're tied somehow. There's 15 seconds left. Let's try not to do anything stupid. <laughs> I'm going to kick it over here. It should go to the other guy. Should be another touchback. Our kicker has done a really good job. That's several touchbacks already. And the wind isn't super harsh either. We're going with goal line. We're going to just try to stay, keep everything in front of us on this one. Going basic run there. Good hit by the middle linebacker. That should be the last play of the game. We'll go back to cover two man. I don't think they will snap it. Do something like this. And that is it. First half. Somehow we're tied. Just weird. Our offense is still sputtering into the end zone. But our defense is keeping us in it. They only have a grand total of 90 yards. And what? Over half of that was off of one pass play. 
So I feel like our defense is doing a great job. Our run game is killing it. We're doing. I mean, I, I think we had half factor wreck once helped us got about 15 yards, but the rest of it is basic runs. We're doing a good job of that when you keep doing it. Uh, it seems like we're being even split now. We're eight for 16 in the past game. That's because we got a lot of drops. Uh, third down, really good so far. 57%. I'll take that any day of the week. We had the one turnover. Davis, he just got hit, and he just he fumbled it. Now, let's go to individual stats. 8 of 16 for Cannon. I think he's doing fine. I'm not upset over anything he's really done so far because uh, we'll check the receiving here in a minute. But Jackson already has 105 yards. Forte, I need to get him the ball just a tad bit more, but our averages have been great. So we're going to get continue to run the ball. Uh, receiving, here's what I want to see. So Davis is doing everything. That's just kind of the way it's worked out at the moment. So what little changes I have made has worked, but we're trying to stay away from that cornerback. Otherwise, Terra Nova would have got the ball a time or two. But our biggest problem is we already have six or five drops. Isn't that ri just ridiculous? Yes, I can adjust that slider. I may end up eventually doing it, but I hate to do it. I hate touching that stuff. It's so boring. Uh, defense, uh, tackles, Boris is leading there. Tackles for loss, Foreman's got two, and Foreman's got two sacks. So that's where those two tackles for loss came from. And we don't have any interceptions. So let's get back at it. We get the ball back. We'd love to go right down the field and score. Let's see if we can do that. Right hash again. We're going to return this one. See if Charles can find a crease. Find a crease. Find a crease. Great play. Getting almost to the 40-yard line. Let's try. Ooh. How about... Let's just do speed option. How about that? Let's see if... We can just get to the outside just a little bit. Zone 4-3. Uh, we'll go to the right. Just, just uh, That was just habit of juking. Only got two yards, though, or three. Second and seven. I'm going to go right back to him. We're going to go right back to slam. Zone nickel. My preference is to run to the right. Got no choice now. We're going to run to the left. I want to stay away from that corner, but they're not going to let us. Good block. Pick up there. Just don't fumble it. Get a first. Let's go. We're going to do another screen. Double screens. This time they're going man. Their corner is sitting over there. We're going to go to Davis on this one. Yeah. Good defense by that corner. You go back and look at this. Sometimes that outside corner, he'll come through like that. That's what scares me. We're very fortunate that wasn't an interception. That's the chance you take. Second to ten. You don't have time to make that decision either. So it's second to ten. We're behind the chains already. Let's go back to slam. Let's run the ball some more. I may need to add some more under center stuff just to get, keep our run game going. Instead of just these two formations over and over again over here. Had to bounce that to the outside. Good play by Forte. Let's go. P. Reed. I like to run off of these eventually, but now they're going man nickel, but they're shifted to the left, so I can't run. But what I can do is, let's go ahead and snap it. Had to get that one off quick. I either go to him or to the Davis. I don't think we would get much out of it. So second and ten. What can we call from here? Let's. I, I can't do Ohio from this spot. They're going to beat it. I may go back and run the ball. Let's go back to halfback read. I'd like to sprinkle in some counter, but I just don't think it's in our best interest to do stuff at that moment. Get up the field. Get up the field. Just don't juke in this area. Just run. Go with it. Gain of 16. Now, what I may do here is I may go to our screen. Okay, they're going zone, so we're going to go to the screen. Just no blocking. We got a few yards, but it wasn't all that great. Second and seven. I'm going to go right back to Jackson. He's playing well. Let's do dive. This formation is really working out for us. They're struggling against it. So we're going to stay in this formation while we continue to run. We'll go to the right. Got no choice. Bounce to the outside again. Touchdown. 
I want to go up the gun, but they just wouldn't let us. I didn't see anything all available. As you can tell, there's just nothing there. So you got to match to the outside. And guess what? We got the lead. I don't know. It's just so weird. But stick to the run game. It's keeping us going. We're not turning the ball over at the moment, which is key. Oh, my gosh. I'd love to go over the top. We tried it once. Uh, I need to figure out when I do that on the right. I, I can still do some rollout. That's part of the offense. When we're on the left hash, we can try that rollout as long as they don't blitz on that side. I'm trying my best. It's really hard. I'm trying to scheme away from that corner. That's why you're not seeing me running a ton of screens to the other side. Because I think that corner will just eat it alive. Good tackle there, but 85 will make it a clipping. They're going to get it down to the 6. Now, they're going... They're going one tight end. I, man, if I can get a, a sack here, we may get close to the safety. Please go play action. Play action. Oh, he got away from it. Oh, my gosh. Look at that play. Wow, what a play. He just broke the tackle. He broke the sack. And that dude was wide open over the middle. I'm still going after him. We're, let's keep doing more zone blitzing. They're throwing a lot of play action at us. Let's do something like this. Good tackle by the backside defensive end. But we're wide. We may go quarters here. I'd love to blitz off of that. I could if I wanted to. But that leaves us really vulnerable on the outside. Let's do something like this. Something's going to happen here. Nothing. Just a tackle. So it's third and one, I think. Yes. We can't go 4-4. Four, four. We don't have the middle linebackers for it. we got to go 4-3. I can't do goal line. I think they'll just run around it. So we'll do something like this. Not a big fan of our linebackers getting stuck like that. Just a bad at all. Everybody and their brother was congested right there. So guess what? We forced another punt. Now, they're on the 39. We may have to do double cross here. I think they'd come in to protect. So let's see if Batiste can do something with this. We need like a shank to the far right or something. That's what we want right there. Can we get a block on a couple of these guys? Uh, get around them. Good return. Let's run the ball some more. Uh, let's go. Let's go speed option. I'm going to flip it. Please go man. Ah, that's the chance you take. Now they're going with 3-4. That's weird. Uh, we're going to go to the right. Oh, yeah. My, say, my quarterback's just not fast enough. So that was a good play on their part. Second and nine. I should have known. I may do a toss right here. Ah, they're going zone, though. Man, I was kind of hoping they'd go. Man. We're going to the right. Get a block right there. Oh, dang it. I, my thumb got stuck. I swear, Al. Third and five. Just a bad play on my part. Um, This worries me. I hope they kind of go zone. They're going zone. Can we get the first down here with Forte making the catch? He's stuck. Terrible throw. Dang it. Cannon. Let's punt it. It's just not worth trying to go for it here. There's no point. We are up a touchdown. Our defense is doing fine. That was my fault. My joystick, my thumb came off the joystick. I can't believe that happened. I'm going to kick this as hard as possible. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, just go in the end zone. That's fine. It always bounces forward anyways. Let's go zone blitz. Do something like this. Go play action again. Oh, couldn't get to him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Start breaking tackles, and here he goes. We're going to do another zone blitz. 
I'm going to keep blitzing him hard. Off the edge. It seems to be working for the most part. Play action. I couldn't get to him in time. Pick up another seven yards. Let's go quarters here. Second and three, they can call whatever at this point. I would like to shift my line back. Uh, he's just going straight toss. Easy gain there. I wish the toss would work that well for me, but even with uh, updated still, I don't think it works that well. Go zone blitz again. I don't know if they'll get this playoff. Uh, we'll do something like this. He picked up the blitz pretty well. He's got all day to throw. I'm letting the CPU handle it. He played it a whole lot better than I did earlier. All right, so his second attempt, we're heading to the fourth quarter. They're driving on us. I'm going to do another zone blitz. We're going to do it out of nickel this time. Keep going after him. They said they was going three wide, so we're going to do something like this. Good pick up on the blitz. Oh, Oh, he still caught that. you got to be kidding. Third and one, third and two. They're going four. Uh, this is weird. Uh, I, I guess we'll go cloud. I think they're going to run the... I don't know what they're going to call. They can call anything here. We're going to do something like this. What worries me is just a basic run up the middle. I'm going to take a chance and they're going to pass it. And they're not. And he does a, swans, a somersault for whatever reason. And it's still first and ten. They still get the guards. I'm going to go back to another zone blitz. Eventually, we're going to get him. Maybe not in this formation, though. We'll see. Pick up on the blitz. Just cover two. That's how you beat it. And just like that, they're fixing the score on us. They're just playing better at the moment. We got to get that momentum back somehow. Too, too easy. The whole drive was just too easy for them. They had no issues whatsoever. It just looked like it was so automatic. Where's that been all game? But then all of a sudden, they just make it look like they're just an NFL team out there getting a touchdown. So they've tied it up. So we're in for a dogfight, as usual. Even when we're playing better than the other team, we're still having issues. But let's see if we can come out on top. Got to play better than last drive, that's for sure. Can we get something going here with Batiste? Get a block. Just That's on the 25. That's not terrible. Uh, let's do a toss with Jackson. They're going man nickel. Honestly, a slab or a dam or a, a, a slab or a dam, a, a slam or a dive would be better in this situation. And they, they're shifting hard. Uh, I guess we're going to go, oh, this is going to be really interesting. Er, just get away from that guy. Yeah, that, that's that corner. I think he's going to just do something really dumb to us. I don't want to see it. So it's second and six. I'm going to keep running the ball. Let's run some clock while we're at it. Might as well. And they keep shifting so well. I feel like I got no choice but to go left. We can do something like this. Then we'll figure out what to do on third down if we can. I like to convert it here. Get down to a couple seconds. Go ahead and snap it. Yeah, we'll have to bounce that to the outside again. Just not. Uh, yeah, I need to be careful on those jukes. First down, though. I am. Let's see. I want to go dive. I'm going to flip it. I'd love to go. They're going man. We may have a chance here as long as they don't shift super hard to the right. Going cover zero. So got to be very careful here. That safety's coming down. They may go cover one. But they're not though. And yeah, complete destruction. No, no blocking whatsoever. Let's do another toss. This time with Forte, but they're going zone. I don't think I don't trust our passing game, honestly. So we're gonna run the ball some more. 
even in second of 14, I still feel like we need to run it. I don't know if a screen's going to help. Again, I'm trying to stay away from that guy on the far left. Like, I, I'm avoiding the entire left side of the field because of him, because I just know he'll force a fumble. Get a block. Hey, dang it, fullback. He just chose not to block there. Dang it, that kills me. Like, he just didn't decide not to. Let's go half back corner. We're going zone. This is a huge play. If we can't convert here, we got to punt it. And we got to rely on our defense some more. Let's see if Cannon can make a decent throw. Last time we converted it, although I thought the throw didn't look all that great. I think we lucked out. Go ahead and snap it. Or this ain't going to work. Terrible throw. Just terrible. Awful throw by Cannon. And this is ball game right here. Probably is. Just an awful throw. But I have no choice. I have to go for the third down. We're falling apart, but that's just what we do. And I've about had enough of it. But just our team just don't want to cooperate with me this year. Out of bounds, thankfully. Let's go quarters. Can we get a stop here? That would be incredible. What worries me is they're going to score, and our offense isn't good enough to go right down the field and do anything about it. Trying to tie it up or anything. Because our offense has just played so bad all season. That's out of like the first couple games. Wide open over here. Third and three. I'm going to go man. I don't know. I'm going to go after him. And they're going goal line. It said they was going too wide. Why did they do that? And he's wide open. Of course he is. Because we're going to lose. <laughs> I hate to be like that, but I'm just... I just don't understand. Are the sliders just that juked, you know, maxed out? That's just so bad for me at the moment. Is it, I mean, it's, I guess it's a miracle we're tied. Like, we're a better team than they are, and we still can't do anything with these guys. Wide open over the middle. He's open. Second and five. They're going to wind this clock down, and they're going to score a field goal or something, and it's going to be the end of it. And I'm just going to have to get over it like we always do. Wide open over there. Hey, he dropped one. How's it feel? Third and five. Guess what? Can we get a stop and force a field goal and somehow get down the field? I don't know if we can. Again, I just our offense just isn't good enough. We may get lucky, though. Can we force a fumble or a turnover? Intercept that, somebody. Oh my god, is that a safety though? It's not a safety. So somehow, I thought that was going to be a safety. You go back and look at this. I thought I caught it. Where did he catch it? He caught it in the end zone. Okay. I thought he caught it at the one. I honestly, we're, it's, we got a minute to go. I'm going to, I don't know. I don't, try, I, I'm afraid Cannon's going to throw an interception. <laughs> They're going to do that. Let's, let's go here. Just don't fumble it. Get a good play. Get call a timeout. Now here's what we're going to do. I hope they... We're going to call. We're going to go backfield. We're going to go here. We're going to go halfback streak. They're going zone. Please don't blitz off the right side. I'm going to try to go away from the corner. And they're blitzing off that side. But I think he got stuck. Get a catch. Oh, he didn't get in. Dang it. Second and ten. Uh, we're going to call the same thing, but from gun trips. Please go zoned or going man. Oh, this ain't going to work. He's wide open. Third and one, we got out of bounds. Third and one, we got out of bounds. Uh, let's go. What are we going to call from here? feel like we got no let's do tight end dig it's the ohio concept so this should work what worries me is we're going after that corner on the left i'm just trying to pick up the first down get a first down 42 seconds 
Uh, let's try. We're going to do a toss. And they're going man 4-3. Don't shift to the right. I'm actually going to probably call option here. And he, he's too slow. We got we got, got to pitch it. We didn't get the first. We did. First and ten. Barely. So we got we ran a little option. It went a whole lot, but we did. Davis is gassed. But we're going to go P.E. Reed. They're going man Nick. We may actually have a chance to run this one. But they shift. Man, that just ain't going to work. He's wide open, though. Go Forte. Get a first down. Yeah, we didn't get out of bounds, though. 29 seconds. Let's call a timeout. He didn't get out of bounds. That was my fault. First and 10. On the 29. Uh, let's think. I am going to run the ball. We're going to get in field goal position. And we're going to end this thing on a field goal. Unless we somehow just get a touchdown instead. Do something. And a... And people wonder why I'm upset and I want to quit this stuff all the time. Another stu I didn't do anything wrong here. I didn't juke. I didn't do anything. I didn't have an impact player make a, gum a dumb play. Nothing. He, he just fumbles it. A fumble. A fumble. A fumble. A fumble. And I'm just about to... I've had enough. I'm just not having fun anymore. It's so frustrating. When no... I mean, I think it's a slider thing. It has to be. Like, I've done nothing wrong there and he still fumbles it. Can we go to overtime? Can we survive these 25 seconds? Are they going to try to get down the field? No, nope, they're just going to run the ball. Thankfully, he got stopped, and they're calling a timeout. I, uh, I'm i going to go quarters. I think they're still going to run the I don't know what they're going to do, honestly. We're going to do something like this. I'm going to stay in. They still may run. No, they're going to throw it. We're going to call a timeout. My thumb came off. I'm just just having a bad day, as usual. Just uh, This entire dynasty has been a train wreck, and I don't know why. Let's go here. Going fifth. I mean, they still got a chance to do something. A sack. So what's going to happen here? Are they going to hurry it up? Yeah. We're going to call something weird here, I think. Two, one. Call the same play. And that could have been holding. I'm going to decline that. We're going to go to overtime. Shoot. If they would have scored a touchdown there, I probably would have quit. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, this this dynasty isn't meant for me if we keep just keep losing like we have been. So it is overtime. Go to the coin toss. They won it. They're going to go on defense first. Of course, we didn't win the toss. That doesn't really matter which side we defend. All right, Jackson. I'm, we're going to go back to you. Don't fumble it. Go to the right again. Not a whole lot. Two yards, if that. I'm going to do a screen. It's on my mind. Let's go double screen. We're going to flip it. We're going zone, so we'll see if we can get something out of this. Perfect defense. Almost intercepted. Did you see that? Almost intercepted. I've almost I've never seen that before. We're very fortunate that wasn't picked off. I've never seen that type of defense. But nobody wanted to block him. And he just <laughs> we'll take it. We're on the six. I, I unfortunately I think. Uh, let's go with a screen. We're going to throw to our screen regardless. Okay, they're going zone. Let's see if we can get Brown going on this one. Get in there. So we scored a touchdown on the screen. So let's kick an extra point. Okay. Get this point up. Get on defense. Maybe we can stop him somehow. Right down the middle. 
That interception, that almost interception, about scared me half to death. So let's get back here. I'm going to go back to the zone blitz. They've, you go back and look at their stats. Have, how balanced have they been? 15 to 19, that's kind of balanced. So this probably isn't a good idea, but if they go play action, that's a great idea. Let's see what they go with. I'm not going to spread out my line. Please fumble it. So much for that. I'm, I'm going to go man. I don't try. Yeah, just probably not a good idea to blitz anymore. Do something like this. Run the ball. Yep, they're going to do the same thing we are. They're just going to run the ball. Second and nine. I'm going to call the same thing. Now, they may pass in on this one. Be careful right down there. Watch the offside. Nope, they're going to pass it. And that is on me. Good defense by the corner. I was out of position. That's why he threw it over there. Third and nine. Well, it's two down territory. They don't convert here. They got to go for it on fourth. We'll do something like this. I still want to go after the right tackle myself. They're going screen. He's wide open now. There. Almost intercepted. Okay, huge play. We're going to call the same thing. I feel safe with... Uh, let's call a timeout. You get one timeout per turn, more or less. So let's just go ahead and use that. Let's go defensive line. I had some guys that were gassed. I don't know if you noticed that. Two of my defensive ends were about to pass out. So we're going to do something like this. Fourth and 12. This is the game right here. Good protection. Game over. <laughs> Somehow, someway, we got through it. I don't know how. I thought I'd done a better job controlling my emotions today. It wasn't, I didn't yell a whole lot. I got a little depressed in a couple spots, but we mustered a win. We just squeezed one out somehow. I don't know how. We stuck with it. Let's go to stats and scores. We moved the ball really well. We ran the ball super well, but we had a really bad turnover. Jackson, again, how many fumbles does he got this season? Like five or so? I don't want to take his minutes away from him, but I almost feel like I got to. That's something I'll deal with in the next video. We Again, we ran the ball a whole lot more than we threw it. Actually, it was only a five-play uh, difference there. But offensively, sacks. This is probably the key of the game. We was able to get five sacks on him, 50% on third down, which is good. Turnovers. We had one fumble, one interception. And was there like another fumble? Yes, it was another fumble. That's what it was. It's saying right here. Turnovers. If you would have told me we had three turnovers and they only had one, I would have said we would have got beat. But somehow we didn't. Turnovers is still a bad issue for us, and I don't know how to fix it. It's up to our players to play play better. Poor uh, our backup quarterback. He had a bad throw. Jackson had a bad fumble. I don't even remember what the third turnover was. I knew it was a fumble, but I don't remember what happened. It doesn't matter. We won. So Cannon, I thought he'd done fine, but I did not want to put the game in his hands. I don't think it was worth it. The 16-27, one touchdown, the bad pick, running the ball. Jackson looked really great, 177 yards, two touchdowns. But he had a fumble. And just, you know, oh, yeah, the other fumble was Davis. That's what it was. Forte, 92 yards. Maybe I need to give him the ball some more, split that up. I I'll figure something out. Davis, our best receiver, he got the ball a lot today, and I'm glad he did. 93 yards, but he had a bad fumble. It's not going to show it here. Uh, defensively, Cannon led with six tackles. That's good, our middle linebacker. Uh, tackles for loss, Foreman still led that. Sacks were two for Foreman. He is our nickel. He's the one who just blitzes a lot for us. And he also had one of the interceptions. All right, let's get out of here. Let's look at the top 25 scores for the week. Virginia Tech got upset by Maryland. Florida State over Duke. Virginia got upset by North Carolina. LSU over Auburn. Then you have UCLA over Oregon State. Texas over Texas Tech. Missouri over Nebraska. Iowa over Michigan. Then you have TCU over Air Force. Louisville over Cincinnati. Georgia over Arkansas. Oklahoma over Baylor. Then you have Ohio State over Indiana. Tennessee over Alabama. That looks good. Then you got Washington State over Cal. 
Purdue over Wisconsin. Then you got Miami over Georgia Tech in a big ACC showdown. Then you got Houston over Mississippi State, USC over Washington, and last but not least, Kansas upsets Colorado. Now, at the beginning of the video, I told you that we could have had a possible commitment, and he decided not to even commit at all. The middle linebacker, which one is it? Even Daniels? No, which one was it? Uh, Ryan Jones, he decided to go to Texas. We dumped 50 points on him. It didn't matter. I think he had a good time at Texas. Who knows what happened? But apparently, he just wanted to go there. So guess what? We are down to one guy. We're going to put all of our points on him. We should get his commitment because, honestly, if you're dumping 100... I, when I say points, it's percentage points. I got corrected, and I'm glad I did. It's percentage points, not just total 90 points. So Texas, I guess, in general, they got more points to shove at it, you know, at, at recruits, but it's percentage points. Uh, we're going to put all of our 100 or one of our, or, yeah, 100% Percentage points, we're going to put it on strong safety. He is visiting the next game, which is Marshall. We just don't know what he's into. We can go ahead and fix this now. We can look at this later on in the beginning of the next video. But he's more concerned about things other than coaching style and academics. Now, he's a three-star out of Louisiana. I'm going to go ahead and put location. How about that? We'll play that one safe, and we'll see if that'll work out for us. So in our next game, we have Marshall. They're 4-3. We got a little bit more talent than they do. They throw the ball really well, which I'd rather go up against a passing offense than a running offense. It just comes down. Ricard's going to be back, hopefully. And we just got to, if we can lower the turnovers, we can win ball games. But we got to figure out how to do that. But it's every game we get snake bit on that. But somehow we looked after that and got the win. So come on back. We'll take on the Thunder and Hurt. And I'll talk to you later.